Hi, right, so old Duffer again. Cup of tea time. You know, if you sometimes buy things off the internet and you, they arrive and you think, really? Why don't they supply that a bit? Now these are the three flexible brake hoses for the RL, two for the front, one for the rear. Now they're obviously slightly more substantial than you'd get for your domestic car. Um, but usually if you buy one for a car, because um, we buy a few, because we restore a few cars, or work on a few old cars, um, you get the nut. Because one end generally goes into a brake uh, cylinder or a caliper, and the other end is up on the body with a nut to secure it. Often a clip today, they often have this, this bit, is uh, if I bring it out a bit closer so you can see it, the end there, that was often recessed, and there's a clip that goes in, these are ones with, that's half inch U and F. And these are 86 quid for three. Um, and they didn't come with half inch UNF nuts, half nuts they are normally, because it's only a lock nut, because then the, you know, it's only secured, so it doesn't wobble around, there's always nothing that important. Um, and I haven't got any half nuts, I haven't got any half inch UNC at all at the moment, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these out of the way so I don't fill them for the um, spatter. I have got some half inch on the camera there. That is a half nut, it's half the thickness of a standard nut. These are UNC, half inch UNC, so I'm going to weld up the middle and then drill and retap them to what I want. Now, I know a lot of people would say, oh, we are buying all the plating off. Yeah, well, well done, um, but don't matter, we'll paint them, or we can have them replated, you know, but they go rusty even if they're plated, you know, so it's, it's <laughs> six, one and a half dozen, the other, really. So I'm going to get set up and uh, I'm going to weld these and then we'll let them cool off and then we'll drill and tap them on a lathe. So um, don't run away. Uh, get to you. Let me get organised and we'll um, get them welded up. I'll bring you a bit closer. Right, hopefully you'll be able to see what we're doing. I'm going to change my glasses, you know. Yeah, I went to a certain high street uh, glasses supplier over the weekend, had an eye test, I've been struggling, and guess what? I need stronger everything. Ouch. But there you go. So, what flavour do we want on the old uh, electric sticking machine here? Uh, oh, yeah, something like that, I do. Marvellous. Right. Just give it a go. Yep. Right. But try not to weld it to the bench because that's a bit embarrassing. But you do need to weld it all the way through. What I normally do uh, is weld one side and then do the next one, try and flip it over because obviously that's going to be a bit Oh no, I'm sorry, get it ready. Because I find if you try and do both sides, so, you know, one and then whip it over and do the other, you find that um, you've got so much heat in it, you end up with a blob rather than a nut. So, we'll do this one. Now, I know people are going to be crying at me and, oh, just get some half inch U and F nuts in. I don't use half inch U and F nuts very often. So, uh, we probably have to buy a lot of them to make it worth our, our while. So, we just don't. Because most of our work's metric. Because we do, um, you know, classic Japanese bikes, they're all metric. Don't get me wrong, if we were using half inch UNF nuts regularly, I would buy, buy a few hundred, but we just don't. And that's dead money sat on the shelf. For that one time I need three. You know, you, you've got to think about these things. 
So do the other side now on the first one. And we're not holding up the fourth road bridge with this. So, you know, it's not like this. And it won't pull out anyway. I've done this so many times. Um, a bit of a dip that so I'm going to fill it in. And yes, I have welded them to the bench uh, on more than one occasion. Good, the other side, I think you want a little bit. Yeah, it's a bit of a dip. When this is completely solid metal in the middle, you'll see when we drill and, drill and tap it, just check we haven't got any uh, flat spots to fill in. Just a bit there. Obviously I'll sand them flat first and then uh, drill and tap them. That one's alright, that's fine. Cool. So, we will come back when these have gone cold and on the lathe and I'll drill and tap them out for you. Right, they've cooled off, got three little blanks now, one's in the chuck, so we're going to um, stick a hole in it to start with. It's 11.4 for a half inch UNF, so do a a uh, centre drill first, get started. Drilling. Drop of oil on it. Something like that will do. Voila, one hole. Right, now before I take this out and put the uh, tap holder in, I'll just change over. You've got to do this three times. You should never take the job out of a chuck until you finish it, otherwise you lose your centre. Obviously, we're just doing nuts. So it isn't exactly um, mega, mega important, but the general rule is don't take it out until you're finished. Right, and because I'm... Brilliantly organised, I've never got the half inch UNF taps out. Marvellous. Right, here we go, half inch UNF, half inch UNF, there we go, that'll do. And my tap holder. Stop it. Right. Tap holder goes in the tail stock. just a chuck to hold the tap um, it doesn't grip it because it doesn't grab on the square drive 
on the end of the tap there. We should get it in focus, don't know, like that. So um, we're putting it in the holder. Obviously you need to crank the speed down a bit. I generally don't cut threads very quickly. Um, it can all go wrong very, very fast if you're not careful. So um, just bring that in. Hopefully you can see, well, let me get my arm in the way. Somewhere there. Need a drop of oil on it. Like that. And away we go. I just wind it forward, follow the thread in. Stick it in reverse. Oops, wind it out. Yeah, I've got to deburr it, but other than that, bring it up here. One half inch UNF nut. Bit of focus, focus. There you go. Uh, let me um, get a brake pipe a minute. There we go. So you can see. There we are. And get it to focus. I'll bring out a bit of focus. There you go. So I'll do the other two. There's no point um, videoing doing two more of exactly the same as I've just done. But there you go. Gone from half inch uh, UNC to half inch UNF by just welding the hole up in the middle. You know, it gets you out of a fix sometimes. So that's just a quick video. Um, we'll call that it for now and see you in the next one.